should be recording this. Alright, I'm going to bluff Dark Blast because there's no reason not to, I think. I don't think they're actually allowed to play around it, but I don't see what playing the Blood Gas does for me here. Really? Damn. Uh, I didn't cut out fetch as an out. Maybe I should have just attacked all my creatures. Uh. That's sad. Damn. I wonder if I punted. I probably did, but I was trying to play around everything. Right. Two altars out. One feeder. One blood ghast. 2x, 2 Thalia. Nice. Uh, it seems unlikely they'll reprint Wacky into standard. Oh, I'll fix that real quick, John. I thought so long and got so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. Well, I don't think they're allowed to reprint Wacky because it would be legal and modern, and I really don't think you want to do that, is my opinion. Damn, can't believe I lost that game. Yeah, maybe it's not unreasonable, but I think they just won't do it for historical reasons. Wacky has been banned before. It's really good with Siege Gang Commander, that's why. Sand does approximately nothing. Uh, do I ship this one? Probably. This is not a particularly good hand. I probably can do better on five. Seems good enough. All right, just gonna lead on leading, obviously, but all right, guess that's acceptable. I think that's not actually that exciting given what this deck is capable of, but. Don't think I'm allowed to 
mulligan that hand, rather, is what I was about to say. All right, I can ship those too. Those just deal me damage. Yes, yes, a stitcher supplier. All right, well, I guess I'm going nowhere fast, but that's okay. I guess this is Still have redraws because I have three lootings. Sod. Okay. Is that even good for them? I feel like if I were them, I would not have done that. Oh, uh, they've rip. I guess they don't have rip. Thalia is stuck now. Uh, a lot of those. Attack with the blood gas, see if they block. Probably won't, but my gas can't block anyways. Then I can cast the grave car and hope I'm not dead. If I am, good beats. That's what I have on my turn three. Yes, it is. All right, well, we won that game. Do we think they rip? Am I supposed to just not care? I think I'm just supposed to not care and hope they don't have it. Alright, looks like they don't have it, generally speaking, so I'm not going to worry about it. Bolt up 5 is the new 7. Well, I hope you're having a good one, Cliff. I think I keep on the strength of Dark Blast in the matchup. I don't know if that's crazy. I don't think it's crazy because I just think Dark Blast is so good versus them that you're not actually allowed to mulligan. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong here, but I just think that it makes a lot, a lot of sense. I dredge to the dark bust, probably. Uh. <laughs> oh, you don't want to play anymore against dark blast? That's weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, uh, we're one oh with. The Hogak. Uh, that's that's just great.
It's just good, clean magic. We cut a Dark Blast for a land, and we still have the Dark Blast in our opener, and our opponent just scoops to it. That is just good, clean magic. Maybe clean is the wrong word. OP, come home. We're back. <laughs> I'm not actually sure I wanted them to come back. Like, there's a lot of ways that hand can malfunction, but I guess their hand just couldn't beat Dark Blast, so that's, that's cool. This looks like a keep to me, but I'm not an expert. I am actually powerful. That's a nice emoji. I'm gonna keep, but uh, I would believe someone if they told me I was wrong here. I'm gonna lead on supplier on one. So, if I went on feeder on one, I would be able to attack for a lot more guaranteed, but I think I don't want to expose it to a bolt necessarily, so I think I can slow roll it. Don't know if that makes sense. Oh, I need a tough for black. Oh, well, didn't really want to draw those, so that's like reasonable. Fuck. All right, I guess we're on the other plan of just be a zoo deck now. Uh, I can cast these two. Note, if I draw a Hogak in my hand, I can probably still... Um... If I draw a Hogak in my hand, I can probably still cast it based on delving cards out of my graveyard, is what I was what I was gonna say. So they're playing like the Snow Prison Thopter Sword, yeah. BS. You think Jarvis best Jarvis? Yes, we know. We know Wacky. Yes, we know. You're you're late to the party. Uh should I EOT this? Yeah, they usually have Urza as well, Cliffy. I EOT this. Hit a bridge. If I hit two bridges I can convert. Yep, you were. There's a bridge. Guess it's more power to just convert this directly. That's five power. We just need to kill them ASAP. Sure is a nice Graf Digger's cage you got over there. Uh, I can deal with them four and make. I guess I'm supposed to probably. I'm just trying to sneak in as much damage as possible because, like, I think if the game goes too long, they'll have their infinite sword combo, and no one wants that. So I have 12, I have 16 through a cage on turn four. I guess I'm dead. Oh, well, no, I'm not dead. But if they have Urza next turn, I'm dead. That's really cute.
tried to kill them as quickly as possible though. Like, that's all I have. I really wish I could cast any of these things or do anything. Uh, all right, guess. So they attack with all and see what they do. They probably sack Mox to make a Thopter. Uh, Urza plus Thopter Sword is infinite mana, infinite Thopters J PS games, because you can tap every Thopter for blue to make another Thopter. Yeah, it's like infinite on all of the correct metrics that They do not sack their cage. Yep, infinite flips off of Urza. That's correct. I can, that's true. So I'm not going to, I'm obviously not going to give up. That's going to be hard on this board. Uh, they might have Pithing Needle for um, it. They, they usually play Pithing Needle so they can needle Altar of Dementia. I'm going to see, I'm going to make sure they know how their deck works. All right. Sucks. Feels like I want these four. Can take out Dark Blast. What else can I take out? I guess I can take out one Blood Ghast, two Altar, one of these. Thalia is apparently pretty good. Also, my lock is side out. Yes, yeah, shenanigans would be okay here, but the stock list did not have the one I copied did not have shenanigans. So, do I want leyline? Problem is, if it's not my opener, it's not that great. What is this steaming pile of poop? Interesting takes P Sam's. The turn one cage, like just blind, was brutal. I think we would have massacred them without it, but whatever. I, I know Leyline shuts down Sword. The problem is I think they can... Um, there's a bunch of problems with that, really. I don't know. I'm not experienced enough with the deck to say what we should do here. Let's not cut another Ghast. Do like they have spine? I don't know what the Grixis Urza deck looks like right now, but I could believe that. This looks good to me actually. So weird. Well, all right. I'm gonna keep. Uh. 
all things artifacts? Interesting. All right. I think this is actually a keep. You can use Alter of Dementia to mill yourself for three with Ingot Chewer's ability on the stack. And I think that pushes it over the top personally. Also, I have two one ones for ones. How could I ever lose? Still can't believe they had the cage on turn one of game one. Do not believe the game would have been close without that. That's fine this time. Just gonna get another black red land. I don't need white mana for anything. Guess I'll be slightly sad if they need okay or er, uh, needle alter, but we'll see what happens. This is frustrating. It's really frustrating, actually. Um, I suppose with three cards, so I could kill the Thopter Boundary, or I could kill the Cage, or I could kill the Spell Bomb. I have a plan. Let's see, five, so I've known myself for three. I'm gonna kill the Thopter Foundry. It's gonna be three, four, five, so it should work out exactly. Or it's actually one extra. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna evoke the Ingot Chewer and kill the Thopter Foundry. And then use Alter to mill myself for three. Don't really feel like going after the graveyard hate when they have two of that, really. So I decided to just. Hmm. Hope they don't have another Dr. Foundry in their hand. If they do, it kind of sucks, but. Alright. I guess I could just cast with my creatures that deals them. I could kill the engineer because they're going to try to return to 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They can, it will cost them a mana, then they could make two idiots. I'm gonna play both my creatures and just try to kill them. Okay. 
eight, nine, ten. So if they have Urza doesn't save them because they would need another red mana. So I think I might just have lethal through the sword activations because they can only activate twice. Activate three times, sorry. They can activate three times. Might just have lethal still, but we'll we'll see what actually happens. They're probably going to cash in their spell bomb for the Doctor Foundry. Interesting. They ship their mocks. So they'll be at seven. They'll have a two, three, a one, one, and a one, one. I think I might still have lethal. So eight minus five is three from that. I think they're still dead. That's an extra plus one plus one counter, so you should cast it first. So they can block Pogak, the 2-3, and block Bloodgast and a Carrion Feeder. And this block leaves them dead on board, so that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, they forgot Hogak has Trample. That's very possible. It does have a lot of words on it. It certainly has Trample as one of them. Well, that was amusing. The cage was good. They had used Spell Bomb. If they had Spell Bombed me with the Evoke on the stack, I think I probably would have lost. All right, should I Leyline them? I guess is the real question. Doesn't, unfortunately, the cyber guy does not have that included, but I'm trying to figure it out. My suspicion is really no. I don't think it's really a good idea. So I'm not going to. Shangans would improve this matchup, probably. A keep. Yeah, I think the reason not to do that is you dilute your engine too much. Then I don't think your deck functions. I try to minimize the amount I sideboard with a deck like this. It's pretty good. Should I looting now? I guess I should looting. I have a lot of lands as it is, so. So I could hit like gas or bridges or whatever or that. That's actually the second um, the second ingature is very welcome.
card's pretty good. Obviously you're not gonna evoke my things when there's like nothing to do it on. Depending on what they do, I might just try to go off. Like, I could hypothetically mill them out from here, right? Also, I'm sort of dying, actually, which is scary. That's not a good draw. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I could evoke both, get my Ventrine back, mill myself for four, then what? Problem is, there's a lot of problems. Let's see, they're showing one, two, three, four, five. Maybe I could just wait a turn and just flashback looting this turn, fetching a swamp. I guess I'll wait a turn. Yes, I know. I did that last game, Hyperion. I'll mill 10 total. Hmm. Do you think I'm favored to win if I mill 10 cards? I guess I probably am, actually, right? Question is, what am I killing here? Probably Mox Opal and the 2 3 Thopter. Actually, maybe I shouldn't kill the 2 3 Thopter then, right? Well, it, chaining Hogak is not deterministic whatsoever. All right. So I'm going to kill Mox Opal and Mistress Bobble, I guess. Some blood gas. That's good. I'll empty the blackout just to get more info. Right. Very important that I do not exit more. I think I win now though. Just have to do things very carefully. Kill their bobble because mice. Turn myself. Nope, correct operation is this. And this. Is this a zombie? It's not, it's an avatar.
So one thing I can do is put this on the stack in response, mill myself for eight, which I'm gonna do. You have to hold control. No bridges, huh? I think bridges are still good enough, so I'm supposed to go. Still no bridges, huh? I guess... I can't. I don't have a zombie. Otherwise, it would be easy. You need a zombie. So probability of hitting two bridges, given there are four left and 25 cards. That's the real question here, right? Because there's like a lot of cards they could draw that just mess me up completely. I guess I'm supposed to go for it. Let me, let me figure it out, I guess. Four hits, 25, four, four successes, N is eight. I want two or more. Probability of two or more is about 38%. Should I go for it? Probably, right? Oh wait, this actually works because even one bridge isn't out, right? Never mind. This was clearly fine, I think. Because now this happens. Alright, so... How many times can I cast Hergak now, I guess is the question. Yeah, actually that was clearly the right play because if I have more outs, if one bridge is just an out, then I think the odds are just phenomenally good that... Uh, so I'm supposed to mow myself for eight more, I guess. Right, we found another bridge, which I think is the missing piece. Um, is there any way I die by messing up? I guess this is a forced play. Bridges do I have? I milled them for eight. Yeah, I already did that DT lurch previously. So I just milled them for eight, make a bunch of tokens. Oh, I forgot to. Uh, whatever. I guess it's fine. This is not the optimal way to do it, but I believe my opponent's milled out. I have... Wait, one, two... I guess I actually am supposed to mill myself for the rest, because it will get all my bridges guaranteed. I should have done that first. I guess I can just sack a bunch of zombies to mow myself. All right, now we have all four bridges, so now I can just put this on the stack. Five, 
response milgram I'm just going to be lazy now. I think they're super dead. This is not the cleanest way to do it, but I don't think it matters that much by this point. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, they have Emrakul. Well, that would. All right, my opponent conceded. Okay, we won in three over Grixis Thopter Sword. Uh, I don't think we would lose. I would just make infinite power. I had one card left in my deck for that scenario because I only milled myself down to one card, so I could have just made like fifty plus power. Will Urker, thank you for the follow. This is why I left one card left in my deck, just in case. Yeah, if I only had to hit one bridge, it was clearly right to do what I did then. Which is kind of sick if you think about it. Alright, this hand seems pretty good to me. Vengevine. Mm, not ideal, but that's okay. I guess my life total might matter, so I'm not going to fetch a second red. This is game one. The second red is not as necessary. Do I have thought seeds in my sideboard? I don't. Oh, it's Storm. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to try to kill them this turn. Actually, a good start, I think. Guess I'll lead off by looting away a Vengevine. Let's see, what's the correct way to do this? Okay, so I get getting both Vengevines back. I guess I should actually mill myself with this supplier first. So I have a Blood Crypt, a Godless Shrine, a two Blood Crypts, a Godless Shrine left. Not really planning to do that. No bridges yet, which is somewhat worrisome, but that's okay. Attack first. I don't think the damage actually matters. I, I just have to mill them out, right? Oh, cast Hogak. Yeah, I should do. Well, no. I think this is probably going to be deterministic to kill them. Uh, actually, no, it's not going to be deterministic, right? I don't know. Whatever. I think this is fine.
it. One, two. Do I, am I going to need the grape crawler? I guess I might, so I might as well play the grape crawler first, right? Yo, attack on Brandon, thanks for the follow. All right, we found a bridge. So I think that's going to be good enough to probably kill them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I missed two. You're right. All right. Obviously, that's right. Uh, I think it's going to not really actually matter. I think I'm going to kill my opponent by so much that it's going to be fine. Uh, put the other Hogak on the stack, and then sacrifice. Do it again. This is real dumb. I don't think this is going to be actually funny on the PT. I think it's just going to be a thing that people will accept as being a thing that can happen to you. And it seems really not that good for coverage, in my opinion. Um, yeah, but I don't think they're going to ban their new card first, Brian. Should I play around? Oh, I can beat a Noxious Rev Revival anyways, so never mind. I was just thinking if I should play around a Noxious Revival, but then I just realized that this is overkill by so much that it's fine. Um, I have three bridges. Do I have enough to mill them out? Probably do. Because I can mill myself for a little bit more, just to be safe. All right. <laughs> we were the storm deck. All right. What am I supposed to do for storm? Oh, by the way, Cobalt, thanks for the raid. We're playing this really dumb deck. Storm. Axe. Thalia. Leyline. These. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. Minus four feeder, minus two bloodcast. That makes sense. Minus dark blast. And then what else do I cut? So it's not an easy matchup. Big Monkey 369, what are your top five decks in modern versus white blue control? I think humans is favorite versus white blue control, actually, for what it's worth. Uh, what's the what? next card I'm allowed to cut? Does anyone know? Hmm. Any, any Gakken experts? What am I allowed? What else am I allowed to cut? Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess so, Master Jareth. Uh, I don't think you're allowed to cut uh, neonates or limbs. I have not had a turn two yet. I'll cut a grape color, sure. Nah, I don't think you're actually allowed to cut a land this deck. So if I draw red, this hand becomes pretty good. Although I don't have a ley line. Actually, maybe this hand's not even good enough. Guess I'm supposed to ship. I don't, what, what is my mana base even, actually? I guess I should run the numbers on that for figuring it out. I have four, seven, Seven, I have 15, 15 red sources. Just needs one more black source to cast bridge. I'm actually gonna mulligan, even though 15 red sources is a reasonable number to hit. Uh, I think this is actually, a, well, maybe not. it's an average five better than this might be actually so what do i need to draw and what is my plan my plan would be to scroll land to the top loot away bridge from below make a two two then play altar Maybe, no, I would want to draw land and a one drop and maybe ship Vengevine. I think I'm actually just going to mulligan. I don't know if that's crazy. don't think this hand is good enough, though. You think this is a keep? Hmm. Kova would keep this. Alright, I'll keep it. I'm not sure. Well, given that that's the case, I'm going to leave that on top. I think land is better than the average card here. Main fees opt. All right, I'd like to give a shout out to the charity I'm fundraising for, the American Cancer Society. This entire month, all, everything I earn from the stream will essentially be going there. So thank, thank you everyone for supporting it. So now the question is, do I EOT make a zombie? Probably not actually, because I just want to get more information. So I'm just going to untap and draw a card. Hmm. I think I'm going to attack for one and play Alter, actually, and hope I don't get killed on turn three. If I don't get killed this turn, I think I'm actually in pretty good shape. Hmm, maybe dead. I am good beats. Okay, I'm not dead yet. Do I ship bridge or venge vine? Probably bridge, right? I guess I could lead with supplier first actually to figure it out. Alright, I'll lead with supplier. Didn't really help matters. 
Oh, I should have tapped that. Damn it. You're right. I hope that doesn't cost me. This should have been tapped. Well, now that that's happened... The question actually remains the same. I think I'm going to ship a bridge, though. Probably going to draw Faithless Hooting. Shivan Reef. Uh, that's a good question. Oh, yeah, I should have milled. No. Wait, yes. I should have milled first. Uh, that was bad. Uh, yeah, I played this turn about as poorly as possible. Ah, uh, great. Great. Uh, I guess that's fine. Can't do anything, right? What's this? Is, um, yeah. All right. So we'll just have six. Oh, they have both. Yemon Sun is the answer. Yeah, but no, you, you're absolutely right. I should have done... Do I need that bridge anymore? Feels like I can find another bridge pretty easily. I'm just going to block that and play Thalia probably. <laughs> yeah, I'm so disappointed. Oh, well, that makes more sense, I guess. Um, I guess I just, I feel like I should just, att huh, this is actually weird. I feel like their hand is pretty awful. Thalia doesn't actually do that much here. Well, I guess it cancels out the brawl. So I, I'm going to just attack and play Thalia, I think. They should have blocked a 2-2, two, two, I think. Interesting. I don't know what's going on anymore. But the reason to play Thalia is like canceling out the Brawl might be game-winning enough, I think. All I need is one more turn for this to hit them in the face. Alright, nice. 2 over Storm. Played kind of bad, but didn't get punished. Nice. Another match. Hmm. <sighs> against the no nobodies. Uh, this hand does actual nothing unless if I knew Dark Blast would be good, but I'm going to just Mulligan instead. Uh, this is fine. Just going to looting, probably discarding these two. Uh, I don't think I need a grip bar. <laughs> Zero mana, 8 HR will save for modern. Probably not. Going to bottom that. I don't think I need that. I might regret that later, but I don't think I need it now, so. Alright, I guess I'll discard two blood gas instead, but. Alright, Altar of Dementia! Come on! Altar of Dementia! Dementia's bubble? That is up to no good. It's 
no prison deck again. All right, so they're gonna need an altar of dementia, which means I probably have to be on a beatdown plan. Yep. Should have said hi. I promise I don't buy it most of the time. Uh, let's see, if I make that. Can I also make the Hogak this turn? I can, right? I can put gas, gas. There'll be a fetch in the yard. So I can Hogak as well. It doves away my Vengevine, but I think that's okay. I could also neonate first, right? So I could neonate. Play Cliffs, play Neonate, discard Hogak. Am I supposed to play the Fetch or not, Jonathan? I'm trying. I, I, let me work it out. If I play. Five. My life tool is going to matter. So. Discarding this just gets me another card. I guess it's the same no matter what. have lethal damage next turn what the hell uh the key thing was i really wanted the vendrine in the yard still i think is reality i didn't work out all of the possibilities i just guess i should have but like all i knew is i wanted to get all these creatures in play basically turn two 16 power attack for four Exactly the dough. Why would I bother playing lands when I can just do this shit? This is, this is kind of stupid. Yeah, Faithless Looting is pretty messed up. We cast two lootings, right? Turn one looting, turn two looting. So yeah, I I basically cast two lootings, like, so my hand looked completely different. And there's a Pithing Needle and Altar of Dementia. Kind of hope they don't have in. Oh, actually, would an Ensnaring Bridge even be good enough? Probably not. Alright, nice. Dark Blast. I can go out. These can come in. Not sure about Thalia still. It's like borderline for me. Gas can go, one Hoga can go, two altars can go. I 
they could have blocked and then reanimated a bridge the next turn, the Professor 7-Eleven, but I think they still would have died, is the actual answer. The question is, do I want another Thalia? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe I don't even want the Thalia and just have a third altar in my deck. Yeah, that would be funny, but I don't think I'm going to bother with Thalia. I think their combo is actually too cheap mana-wise that it's not even that good. All right, thanks for everyone hanging out. Rock cap, I finished 12 and 3. This hand. I think I should mull again. Uh, this is fine. Don't need another land. SJ Mems, thanks for the follow. Uh, Rock Cap, it was a little bit more disappointing when I started. Um, what should I call it? I started uh, 9 0, then I finished 12 3, so that's a little bit more disappointing, but. You know, it's fine. Right, one of my ingot chewers is gone, so this only has one more target. Whoa, Seeker. Uh, yeah, we'll figure that out at some point. Ten four one. There weren't many ten four ones in the tournament, so I could probably figure out your name based on that. I've had three nine zero. Oh day one starts in my career one of them was during laurel and block constructed another was during mardu vehicles constructed my sealed pool was full on soul tie i had cross two cross and tuskers a spring bloom dry druid um something gonna work for Sword, probably. Yeah, my deck was quite good. I'm not unhappy about it. All right. Did I go ninja? They don't have Urza. Well, I'm not going to hard cast bridge. <laughs> That's just not happening. All right, I'm not gonna make them do this. I feel like a bunch of bands are gonna happen. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it alone. Just hope to nut them. And it's great. So I'm gonna sneep. Having an ingot chewer in your opener is really nice. 
uh, the dough, they can make infinite thopters with Urza Thopter Sword, because you just tap each thopter to make a blue. And they can also activate, at some point they can make infinite thopters, they can then uh, cast their entire deck, which I'm not going to make them do it, because like it's it's like a million clicks, but basically I was just super dead. No, they don't generally play Emrakul. They just assume Infinite Thopters is good enough. Cantor has been playing Spine. Alright, Spine is probably good enough then to win the game. Oh, it's sub Jadoth. Hope you're having a good one. Yeah, hooked on our eight Phoenix. That was probably correct. Didn't think about it, obviously. Um, Basically, I have two ingot chewers behind, so I feel pretty far ahead. I'm going to basically probably harbinger for the second ingot chewer this turn. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what they kill with. What really matters is they just find a Pithing Needle for Altar of Dementia, the Doe. Which they play in their deck. What's up, Mike? We're playing this deck. I had a chance to first pick this card in the second draft pod, and I didn't. kind of regret it it would have been a stamped one but what did i take i can't remember i think i took abominable tree folk which is like an insane card no i did not rare draft No, I think trumpeting. If that's your first pick, pack one, pick one, Karate Dom, I love that pick, actually. I can get Vengevine with Harbinger? I don't think it's correct to do so, so I didn't, but... Yeah, that's the problem with those mid-range decks. I played against John Rossum three times in a tournament I went 2-1, which is kind of funny. Beat him in sealed deck, and I beat him in draft one, and I lost in the second draft. <laughs> Um, I didn't play anyone else twice. In a limited GP, you could hypothetically play someone four times if you play against them again in the top eight.
people like my experience at the GP was people did not actually like taking the snowlands. So kind of had a different experience. Must be Ricky. Interesting. What was Ricky? Did you drop deck? Oh my god, I've died again! If I just killed one artifact, I wouldn't have died. That's sick. Alright, opponent. Damn, they had the turn three. It's so unlikely for their deck to turn three. Uh, Moxen are good. Right. Sucks. Yeah. I could have, like, Ingature the Astrolabe. What? No. Eddie, what happens is they just activate Urza a bunch of times until they get Pithing Needle for Ultra of Dementia. They side in Aethergrid? Alright, got it. Whatevs, I'm off it. We're 3-1 at least. Oh man, a land would make this hand so good, but obviously you're gonna maul. Specifically a black red land would make this hand a super cute. If it's throw a glass card, good point, Matt. Uh I guess I could have played towards that, but whatever, I was off it. Shit. Well, actually, the fortunate part is my hand's pretty redundant. Uh, they can take Alter, and I'm okay with that. I don't think that actually solves any of the problems they have. Okay, that's fine. I think they're probably Shadow. Uh, Noxious Revival is very beatable with the dough because you just mill them out again. Uh, Daniel, I lost a lot with that Phoenix deck. Ooh. Can I cast it this turn? I think I can. Oh no, I don't have any black creatures. just mono red phoenix um i don't have the link handy anywhere but lava dart was pretty good the problem is it had the same problems red phoenix had before which are consistency issues and it's like slightly underpowered i think is the real problem should i play alter or should i just play another yes seeker it's close to it's close to that list should i play alter or a second neonate here I'll just play Alter and force them to have. Well, actually, nah, whatever. I'll do this. Plays around Stub. <laughs> I'm just playing around Stub, Mike.
That's nice, actually. That's really nice. Uh, Marcus, it seems very much like you should play this deck currently, in my opinion. All right, I'm going to ship the Dark Blast again and dredge it. Mostly, if I hit a Blood Gas, this is incredibly good, like that. So proper sequencing is get the gas out of your graveyard first. Play Carrion Feeder. Play Gravecrawler, then play a Hogak. I guess I could just play... No, I'll play the Gravecrawler first. Fine. Thanks, Daniel. Obviously, I'm so disappointed, but. So it looks like they're Grixis Shadow. They're not actually allowed to like tap out very much. Alright, so they're gonna play Angler, I guess. I'll just take a blind draw now. I could have up keep Dark Blasted, but I don't think that's even good. Uh, I think it just Ascend for eight. So they don't have a shadow. They, they might actually have a shadow as one of their last cards. Shipped him easy? I don't think that... Well, actually maybe that was right. Should I play the altar now? Or should I just say go? Probably should just say go. Right. Let's see what you do. Opponent. Alright, they're at one. So all of the fetches are offline. Alright, they didn't have a shadow, so I'm pretty thankful for that. How do I side against shadow is the question. Right, side out one of a bunch of things. Dark Loss not good. I'll side in Wismare because I think that's the most likely card for them to have. Axe is apparently good too. This will look approximately correct. Oh uh, yeah, the Tonic Booth, I think someone tweeted it, I don't remember who. The person who won the challenge tweeted something, if anyone has the link. I guess I can paste it. Um, I think I'll just side out another altar, probably. Because I think I can just beat them with creatures. 
Instead of trying to resolve it too, may I do nothing? This looks fine. It's not the most exciting hand, but it's pretty good, I think. So, don't think I'm allowed to mulligan it. Do you take Neonate or Karen Feeder? Uh, A, I think it's pretty broken after having played four matches with it so far. You think Leyline's going to be re reprinted? I guess it makes sense. Trying to preserve the feeder as protection versus um, like removal. Surgical A. All right. Yeah, that's true, John. I think both are legitimate reasons. Should I attack? I shouldn't attack. Think I'm gonna just fetch for another black red source play feeder grave crawler. Uh, actually, I guess I don't need a second black red source in my life total. Might matter, right? On the other hand, actually, maybe I want a white black source. Right. Just in case the ley line comes down at some point. Right. We'll make you do work to play your shadow. All right. Yeah, Mike, I actually thought that. That makes so much sense. It was just suspend on suspend one. All right. Well, now I know they don't have a shadow because if they had a shadow, they just would have fetched, shocked, and played it. I wonder if they have Cry of the Carnarium in their hand. Defile in standard? Uh, for me to want to play it, Mike, a lot. Maybe not much, actually, anymore. You have Prospector, Mog War Marshal, Mog Fanatic, Matron, Ringleader. All right, my opponent just flooded out, I think. All right, so we want 4-1. Um, no, Jonathan, they're talking about when I cashed my first, my first GP cash was with Extended Goblins back in 2008. Port and Wasteland were not legal. Uh, so that was a 4-1. Guess I'll play another week. This game's go pretty fast. Not changing anything. Uh, Ace and Deuce, I specifically didn't play bidding back then. I won all my mirrors versus goblin bidding decks. Thank you, Armath. Hmm. All right, keep. Oh yeah, I played like trash versus you. 
Fortune of my deck was insane. In what deck? Alright. Uh, it seems like that costs too much mana and not very good. Side in one of each of the things. Inside out. One, one. I'm just hedging. This is like kind of an okay hedge. We'll find out more. I guess so. I mean, like, I don't know why they conceded. Oh, John, you're not a mod. All right, John, we gotta fix that. We gotta fix that, my friend. All right, you got a sword now. Use it wisely. First cheap cash with steel wall. Again's pretty good. Ah, it's Tron, so I'm probably getting relicked. Yep. Oh, Mike, I remember that tournament so well. That was a good tournament. Uh, I don't have a good answer for that, but the creatures matter for Vengevine. John, I can easily unmod you. Don't go crazy. You want alternate power seeker? They put a card on top. That's kind of frightening. Uh, you can side out a, a bunch of one of the payoffs cro crotcheted. Nice. If they don't relic me here, I can just. Right. Probably should have relic me. Sub hyper shock two, three, four, five, seven, six. Yeah, this is why I did this. I just wanted to make a giant idiot, and now I'm like. I think I can actually kill them pretty... How many bridges did I lose? Two? Maybe it's not that easy, but... Also, they're not even close to Tron, so this Hogak might just three-shot them. No, they didn't tap Relic. I didn't think they would, so I just made that play, just assuming they wouldn't do the thing that would cause me to insta die. And it worked out pretty well. Question is, am I supposed to play around Oblivion instead next turn? I mean, Legacy is kind of dumb right now to the Doe. Uh, didn't feel like it yet. I guess I'll attack first, but I think I can probably just kill them. I don't think Hogak broke Legacy, for what it's worth.
I should have sacked Hogak first. You're correct. That was a punt. Oh, I tapped off for my mock strats. I'm so stupid. I didn't hit any bridges. Two. Maybe this was just bad. Maybe I was just supposed to just assume they didn't have Oblivion Stone. Now I'm kind of screwed. Yeah, this was a mistake, I think. All right, now I think I'm actually supposed to ship. If I get roped again, it's not good either. Shouldn't have attacked. Shouldn't have attacked. That was pretty bad. Well, now I know I don't need Wispmare in my deck. Maybe they only have a Warm Coil. Could have also only attacked with um, Hogak in a 1-1. One -one. Fine. Yes, Mike, that's a pretty common play, I think, actually. It happens most often when, when you're looping off. So they would have died, I guess, if I hadn't done what I did. But they also probably were supposed to die if I just wasn't an idiot. Hmm. Warm coil. That's one of the worst draws. Yeah, I punted this game pretty bad too, though, so. Um, do I have Lethal? I think I might have Lethal. Cast that. Cast Hogak. I'll have two four power creatures. So that's eight damage. Right? I just sack all three of these to Carrion Feeder and they die. I sack these three. Oh, I should have sacked that first. Whatever. I am dumb. I think here it doesn't actually matter. Alright. Nice. Turn four kill after throwing it, potentially, but basically if I didn't get if they got bridged that turn, what happens? Do they have too many cards in hand for bridge? I don't even know what happens then. Well, you can punt. All right, well, this hand's great, so. Uh... 
<laughs> Dormot script. Oh, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. No Tormod scripts. This is not Tormod script chat. Right. Guest. Guess I discard a land, right? So, like, the reason not to discard Hogak is to protect it from relics and shit. So I'm not going to discard that. I'm not going to discard Rear Power either, so. Mana Trader Seeker. Did you also notice that the Pudi Deltas are mismatched? I don't actually own many Magic Online cards anymore. I only own basic lands now. Grassy Tron. Moderary Shaper? Right. So bring back gas. Yeah, sorry, this is not the stream for OCD people. Um, what's the best play? I guess just play the altar so I don't get thought not seared. I don't want to take too much damage. I think I might lose to damage by accident if I'm not careful. Whereas I think if things are if I play carefully, it's hard to lose. So, one downside to this play is they could thought not my Hogak this turn if they have it, but that's okay. I'm likely to find another one in my, my top bunch of cards. Hmm, what does this mean? They might dismember their own creature, which is fine. They dismember their own creature here, I'm fine with it. All right, they didn't. I should cast Hogak. Yes, you're correct. Right, I guess I'll cast that one instead, but I should cast it first. One, two, three, four, five. They're dead now. the correct order to do this in. I guess there's technically a correct order, but they might have no drowsy. All right. 
We win. Okay, so they probably have Cage. I don't know if they have Leyline. Willing to 100% bet they have Cage, and probably sometimes they have um, Karn, the Great Creator. I can side like this. Question is, do I want Lightning Axe? And I think the answer is no, but it's close. Gas might be better than the third grade power, actually. I think that's probably actually true. Sneep. Sounds pretty good. Hands on five. Time to see if I get low end. I did not. Didn't get caged either, so that's pretty nice. I'm gonna just discard both my yard active things. Hmm. Right, I'll discard these two now. Note, so like that might seem weird. Um, I don't know. I thought about it for a while. Anyways, the reason I did that was I can actually play both of these to get the Vendrine back on turn three after playing all turn turn two. Chalice on one, probably. Ooh, walking Vista. All right. Not sure. Uh, I actually have no idea right now, Powder. Main phase activate. Because it wants to have six pretty badly. You're inclined to play oh, interesting. Um I guess I can get their ballista for free, essentially. Well, oh, versus Chalice, I think, yeah. It's a lot better to do that thing. All right. So here's what I'm actually gonna do. I'm gonna lead off with this. They could just like shoot me in response, but I'm okay with that. That's fine. Yeah, I think I'm going to, Mike. This puts one in the yard, this puts two in the yard, and I can... Oh no. Uh, I guess I could just cast Blood Gas and that would be pretty good. I guess I will do that actually. I'm just gonna play around trap. Because they hypothetically could have it. I think just a Vengevine here is pretty good by itself. I'll just give them a turn. It's okay, I think. I think we can just beat them with like a normal game plan. Uh, I don't currently. I think Koval might. I assume they're gonna get Crypt. And 
then I'm going to just try to kill them this turn, I think. Uh, should be Bosch and Roll here. Is Bosch and Roll still here? Yeah. He streamed a bunch with Blue Red Delver, I think, lately. Well, Alter offline, but not really offline. I can just attack it with the Vengevine. That's pretty good too, I think. Right. So first order of business is attack Karn with just Vengevine. Planning to use these probably for fake mana, essentially. All right, so now I'm gonna do, I can evoke this and put a bunch of triggers on the stack. And that basically, the only card it kills in my graveyard is Faithless Suiting this way. So it's pretty nice. So I can go like this. I can crypt my looting. Season Pirate, I mean, not really, Sam. Like, I think that's kind of a misclassification of the cards. Oh, they could have, yeah. can I solve with those probably first because if I hit another bridge yeah like this all right I think they're full on dead now It looks like they're really dead to me. Oh, it is correct. That's true. I'm just play the supplier first. Oh. Pretty sure they're full blown dead now. Especially since they're not doing anything. Well, I can't. It's post combat because there was a Karn in play. Oh, time. Oh, I see. Uh, I thought I was lagging, but it was my opponent just conceding. So, two o four o in this week so far. Uh, it's not that many quits. It's not as bad as like eggs or something, Sam. Or Elf Ball, certain iterations Elf Ball. The Crater Hoof Elf deck, like, it doesn't really take a lot of effort to kill with that one. Jeez, every hand is just perfect. Like, why would I mulligan when hands look like this? Oh yeah, I'm scum, Mike. I just don't pay attention to that box, really. Airborne walks, and I'm not sure. I wonder if they'll take looting. I wonder if they're supposed to take looting, actually. Probably? If they don't take looting, I can just make a bunch of power on probably turn three. Right. 
they decided that was also correct. Hmm. Alright, I guess I'm on the plan B, which is just cast my idiots the normal way. Sure, they do have feelings. Uh, I'll just play Alter. They know about this one. If they counter it, that's fine. Right, so they're Shadow, I think. I don't think I'm actually going to attack them in that case. Just keeping them at a, like a higher life total makes it harder for them. Ooh, are they dismembering? Uh, this is the one from the new set, Modern Horizons 1, which is about to be the old set because core set 2020 spoilers are already occurring. So take it as you will. Kind of maniacal that spoilers for the new, for the core set are already occurring. Just like kind of crazy. So they're Esper Shadow as well. That like gives all the information I need. Um, yeah, I'll just see if they have Snapcaster. All right, whatever. Still not going to attack. My plan is to make a Hogak and a Blood Gas at some point. Oh, it's up still. Hope you're having a good one. I'm practicing Stew, see? Practicing. Currently six and one with this deck while playing not the best. Yeah, War of the Spark to uh Modern Horizons also was quick, but I didn't mind that so much. War of the Spark got old real fast for me. Yeah, Stu, you want to get multiple copies of this deck for our team? <laughs> I don't think I own much of this deck, actually. I see. Snap Thoughtsies, probably, because nothing else looks that exciting here. Doggo, there's no Doggo Command. Just dank. So if I flashback looting, I guess that's the only really great play I have, so I'll do that. Uh, yeah, probably is my suspicion. I don't have like evidence or proof that it would be. Right. Kind of just want to discard both of the Vendrines, really. Then if I draw any like Like, the bridge is not even that exciting here. Yeah, I'll just discard both the Vendvines. Then if I draw, like, any creature next turn, I can probably, like, go creature, ghast, hogak, and they probably die to that. They only have two cards in hand for what it's worth as well. And I don't think they're particularly good cards based on how the game's played out. They might have, like, a shadow in their hand, I guess, but... I don't really understand why this deck is playing on Earth, but... Hmm. 
Wow, you're. I'm so sick of the hardcast bridge joke tonight, Matt. So many people have made that joke already. I'm not actually sick of it. All right, so this is an angler, I assume. No, I need that podcast. Oh. Oh no. And was merit. Yeah, that's true. All right, there goes my guest. I can bridge cast hard. Good point, nor Northwest Dork. All right, I hope I draw a Stitcher's supplier. All right, so they're getting a shadow, presumably. I don't really understand why this deck is playing this card. I don't think this card is actually better than like Ranger Vios. Oh, I guess it's good with Unearth. All right, I guess that that does make sense. All right. Well, they didn't have any good options. It was this or the gas, and the gas is clearly better. Also does nuke bridges. Yeah, I guess it's good enough. I'm pretty safely in our hand. Come on, something good. All right, that'll do it. What happens if I attack with one of them? I do remember that. Then we made a uh, 1, 3, 11, 19 power. All right, the next person who talks about casting bridge, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, do I even attack? Is that even good? Send a five. If I put them to five. Their shadow will be an eight eight. Opponent has zero cards in hand. I don't know. I don't think I'm supposed to attack. I guess next turn I'll just send with the Hogak and the Karen Feeder. They could play Path to Exile. Maybe they'll thought sees. That would be funny.
Damn, what do I do? I guess playing them one is probably good, so I'm supposed to attack with the Hogak. Problem is, if I attack with others, they can just actually block with the Shadow and take the damage from the Hogak. If they had nothing, attacking with everything would be correct. Yo, I heard math is for blockers. <laughs> I forgot I put that in, that command in at some point. Oh, that's a good one. It's a good command. All right, so I'm actually going to sack it. That sounds like something you would do, Matt. It costs black, black, black to cast bridge from below. I'm going to play my land. Yo, Joe, thanks for the 892 person raid. Wow, that's so neat. Jorb's birds. We're playing some modern Hogak with Bridge from Below. And Joe, thanks for the 11 month free sub. Your sub's going to the American Cancer Society. Touch for another blood crypt. Memory lapse on for nine and nine. Thank you for the follow. Right. Let's back. I can't cast it, can I? I guess I just have to say go then. Go ahead. Two, three, four. Five. I could. Yep, doesn't work. So, Aristocrita. Antarctica, Aristocritica. Alright, I tried. I tried. We cannot spend mana on Hogak. Joe, you would have loved this card. This is certainly a card that shouts join ribs. Uh, you cannot convoke with Bridge from Blue. Like that. That's really good. It's also good. Right. Let's see if you. Oh, I should have played the altar first as a punt. No, I had the second swap in the last week too. Um, I don't have any more swamps. Perhaps I can trick them. I should have actually played the altar first because they gave me a timing window to do it. But, all right, we'll just get the... I don't have any basics left. Perhaps they think they need the 3 3 still. Right, now I can play this. I can play Hogak safely. Ooh. 
one, two. Wait, have I played any creatures? Looting, I have not. Right. Probably don't need the looting anymore. So note, I'm actually not close to winning because they could hypothetically kill off my bridge whenever they wanted. So I don't really know how to initiate through that. I um, guess I could just mill or delve away the blood ghast. Or the looting. Probably the looting is actually better. Don't tap veggies. Why not? I'm just going to say go, I think. You all have a very different plan than I do. I think I'm just happy to sit here for a while. Maybe I should have initiated, actually. Huh. Maybe I should have, actually. I don't know. So you want me to delve away the Bloodgast and get the Vines back? Right, I guess that actually does make sense. Twelve, sixteen, twenty. I can mill my phone for twenty cards. Is that good? Mm. All right. I guess I this forces an initiation, so this I think is actually pretty good. They had enough of that. Alright, I believe they have Leyline of the Void in their deck, so we will side in some cards that kill Leyline of the Void and shave on one of a lot of things, as you usually do. Um, yeah, I like that. Could side an axe, I don't even know if I'm supposed to or not. I don't think I'm going to. This deck is freaking dumb, I think. By the way, my streams this month are all contributing to uh, the American Cancer Society. Thank you for everyone who's donated so far. And anyone who subs, the donation also goes there. Boss 856 thank you for the sub. I think this deck is kind of a mistake. Feels like a mistake anyways. Uh... can't spend mana on this. What a joke. <laughs> I 
thing is, like, it also feels like it didn't take very long to discover the shell because the cards were literally in the same set. Uh, probably after, if I had to guess, Cliffy. I'm gonna keep. It's not the most insane hand, but I think it's good enough. Uh, okay, well, we don't have Whismare. But... Am I going to post after I make the donation? Yeah, probably. Uh, if you just click on the donation link below my Twitch, it goes there. This might be a harder game. They do have a ley line, so. Alright, well, my hand got a lot worse. They probably take this, because that's like the one card that does anything. I can draw a Flamekin Harbinger or a Wismare, and it would be pretty good. Alright, as expected, they took the Neonate. Uh, that's not particularly good here. Okay, so that's all right. Hmm. All right, I'll get a Godot Shrine, because we do have Whismire in our deck. I can't, so in this version of the deck, I cannot cast that card. Um, just gonna play altar here i think actually because if i ever draw wismare i think that like this altar being in play will, will maybe insta kills them Just kind of okay. I don't really care about the body. Yo, Stu, thanks for letting be boss now. All right, missed, but that's okay. I'm gonna just cast a blood ghast. I could have waited actually, maybe, and that might have been better. In retrospect, it actually probably was better, so it's probably a punt. And yes, I know I can cast Bridge from below. <laughs> I know. I don't think that does very much. Yes, it is. It is. It's Vengevine. I don't even want to get Vengevine. I guess I'll attack for two and... Uh, Final Nub, I don't know about Thalia. I, I understand what it's for. I'm not convinced it's actually any good. The nice thing is it doesn't really mess with your plan, so it prob that probably does make it good enough. Um, too good might be a stretch. Oh, well, actually, maybe not. I mean, I think this card and this card being the same set was pretty ridiculous, and it did not make it that hard to figure out. Also, this is probably the worst land for them to draw, all things considered. All right. If I draw a land, it's pretty good. Does it do anything? Um... Dang, 
this is kind of awkward. So do I attack to enable their shadows? I don't think so. Yes, Harbinger could find Vengevine, but I don't really want to find Vengevine, right? I guess I should do that anyways. Oh, actually that's... Oh, wait, wait. That actually is good. Never mind. So I can do this. Then I can play Hogak, which I believe is correct. And then what can, what else can I do now? I can mill myself for a bunch. Or I could just present lethal. Yeah, I think, so one of the cards they could have in their hand conceivably that would make sense is Surgical Extraction. Another card is like, uh, Path. Yeah. I came to that conclusion slowly. Kind of slowly. <laughs> That's okay. You gotta work it out sometimes. Okay, we won. We're three on this league. Two more matches then. So we're, we're four one, three zero. Oh, so we're seven one currently. This deck is pretty gas. So, I guess the thing about modern is. The way it's designed currently is there's always almost always going to be a broken graveyard deck regardless of what you do just by the design of the format so i'm not sure banning bridge from low does anything except make dredge into the graveyard deck right or like gorio's vengeance or something similar i don't know if that's a good way to think about it but i'm not sure banning bridge does anything except create a different graveyard deck chill might be appropriately powerful also this hand sucks so ban graveyards yeah you could do that Ooh, this hand's pretty good ban the graveyard zone well someone just su suggested that Mountain. Should I play around Blood Moon blind from Mountain? I feel like I'm going to. All right. I'm just gonna play around Blood Moon. It might be crazy to do that, but I, I just, just think. I think I can afford to be safe. Is 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 what I was saying. Uh, I think Grishul Brand, when it was first developed, was actually good Final Mail because people didn't understand it. All right, so they're just like Red Phoenix, probably. This is fine. Whew, gut shot my Stitcher Sapphire? Uh, I guess they saw that I have a Hogak in the graveyard, so this does actually make sense. Okay, this is unlikely to work out. It could be Prowess, no Phoenix, yeah. Alright. I shouldn't have done that. That was actually really loose. I should have played the supplier first, see if I milled a Bloodgast. Uh, but this is still correct, I think. Not hit blood guest. Now we're just gonna like 
big DI power, really. So I think they're going to just lose because they can't beat an 8-8 Trampler. I guess a lot of decks really can't, so that's okay. If you have a next, thank you for the follow. Uh, yeah, I am not perfect, is how I would put it. Deck seems really, 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 really stupid, though. Alright. Old Bay, um, it used to be pro MTG first, but the current owner sold it off, so I don't really know any, I don't, I'm not in the know anymore, really. For that area. I'll just break. So they can lava dart me down to nine. Then Phoenix attacks puts me to six. We did, but I'm kind of scared. Like, I might actually die to the Phoenix next turn. Unless well, something crazy happens. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Only have 12 showing. So that's not great. Alright, if I die, if I die to a bolt, good beats, right? That doesn't do anything, right? Oh, actually it does. That might actually do it. Oh, well, didn't didn't mm, I think this is still correct. Sucks. Well, if I die, I die. It's okay. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Their best block is here. 12, 14. Guess I convert this into an untapped zombie. Yo, and thanks for the 40 burst in host. We're playing some Hogak Vine. They have a bolt, I die, but I can't do anything about it, so I'll just say go and hope they don't have it. They're on like a six outer, so. They might have light up the stage as a re out. Okay. I got turned forward. It's all right though. Um, do I expect that deck to have Leyline? Maybe. I can sort of hedge, right? I can do like. Something like this to hedge. Yeah, Eddie, I got raided by Join Ribs and a few other people. No fear? You also think no fear could be correct? Hmm, that could be correct, actually. The thing is, it's not actually a huge cost to put those in your deck. Like, just one of each, in my opinion. Uh, the legendary card is Thalia.
think Dark Blast doesn't actually do anything versus them. You jam and present 60. All right, I'll do that. I could have, I could have actually cited in Thalia, which is more interesting, but they have actual lava dart, so. This is really good, actually. Like, this hand actually... Unless if they have specifically Leyline, I'm actually, like, extremely favored, I think. Because I can just make the Hogak from my hand, delving away my entire graveyard. The only problem is if I actually mill over a Hogak. Which would kind of suck. They topped. It's fine. No, oh, my we run so good. Whoa! B boss! Holy shit! Five hundred dollar donation from presumably who I assume to be Brian Boss. That's great. I really appreciate it, man. Alright, uh, while I'm thinking about that, what should I do here? Alright, I think I'll read on Citrus of Fire. They could good shot one of my creatures in response, so it'd be fine. Yeah, they do, apparently. Alright, so I do have the graveyard. I guess I can take two. Yeah, great donation, obviously. Or, don't think I'm going to have time to flashback this looting, but I could be wrong. I'm actually just going to say go, and if they wrap trap me, that's okay. Oh, I should have tapped the feeder. Uh, I should have tapped the feeder, but... Uh, it, it was wrong to not tap the feeder. But it also, I think, is sort of irrelevant, because I was not going to attack with the 1-1 one, one into the 1-2. Do I respond to Faithless Looting by making some zombies? Probably. So I'll do I'll do this. Know myself. Uh, nothing really. I'm just gonna reset the amount and try to raise more if I get to two thousand. I don't think I can do that. I, I just, my body wouldn't survive Dokomoi. Wouldn't be fun for anyone, I think. Alright. Uh, that's what I got, opponent. What do you got? I can play Gravecore twice to return my Vengevine, too. Alright. The longest I would do a stream for, I think, is like 12 hours. But that's still like, I don't know. It feels like it might be beyond my body. All right, I'm gonna just play around graveyard hate by not trying to expose too much. Leyline was confirmed, chop, chop, chop.
Wow, that's wild. Alright, the price of that card is going to plummet. Which is probably good, all things considered. Alright, well, my turn 3 was make like a thousand power. Uh, you can if you want. Not going to stream it tonight, obviously, but... If you want, you can DM me or you can have Adam send me one. Just gonna present again, I think. Probably a keep, but this is like close. Um I don't draw a land, it's probably pretty bad, but I, I think I'm supposed to keep. King Hellcat, that sucks. All right, so they probably have a land white hand, because basically if you have a hand that has multiple lands, you almost never play... Well, you wouldn't play this on turn one. All right, so they have Tormod's Crypt. That's fine. Right, that was a good draw. Probably just going to spend my turn to dumping or attacking, dumping Bloodgast, and then see if they bite the bullet on me returning a Bloodgast. Yeah, B Boss, that sounds like something I probably would not enjoy. I have not played Tower Wisp since the standard days. Reprint of Lines. No, I mean, like, M20 was designed way before all of that, right? Ooh, a second crypt. Okay. I guess I'll just have to power through it. Those were some great standard days. Ghost Dadden people and, and the like. What is it targeting? Right, me. So I'm at 11 now on turn two, but they have no hand, essentially. Eisenwolf1988, thank you for the follow. You're right. Gustad did not age well as a deck name. A ship of gas, I think. Kind of worked. Let's see what they do. I basically have to like go through these um Tormod scripts rather than anything else. Maybe I'll just cast another aghast. I think I will, yeah. Just get get that damage in there. Like they only have one card. If they just flood a little bit, it's actually gonna be okay. I guess they do have two loot lootings. That's kind of scary. So I'm at five now. I see. Feels like the deck is operating better for them than it was for me. Well, that's not great for them. It's an extra damage, actually. And they get a free land drop. So that was actually good for them. Never mind. That was good for them. Change my mind. Could have done that too. Maybe I should have actually. Yeah, that was actually probably the better play. Right. 
Well, how do I win? It's gonna be really hard. Um, so if I dump both bridges, they can just crypt. How did I take so much damage? Bolt and a spike. I didn't kill their creature. So I guess if I discard Ghast and Vengevine, what happens? I would have to hit Hogak, but they could Surgical Hogak. So I guess my actual play should be to discard Vengevine Bridge play Stitcher Supplier. Let's see what happens. Kind of hope they just script me here. thinking about it. Hogak, Hogak. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna attack with my gas. Not sure if I'm supposed to play my land or not. Guess the answer is probably no. Hogak would have been really good right there actually. Morphos? That's not good. It's really not good for me. Red, black. So they're just going to cast Surgical off black mana, probably. Do you think they'll hit Bridge? I'm not sure. I mean... If I hit a Hogak, it would have looked pretty bad for them, I, I guess, but whatever. Okay. So this play kills me if they draw Gutshot. Uh, I guess I've lost instead. Sucks. Yeah. You're right, probably. All right, well, that sucked. Manamorphos, looting, surgical. So I take, yeah, that really sucks. What ofs. All right, three, one, one more match to go, but we'll make it a good one. Make it a good one. Can't believe they reprinted Lay on Void. Actually, I guess I can believe it. Because the price was outrageous and. So looks like a keep to me, so I'm going to keep. <laughs> Make it a bad one. <laughs> Replace Thalia's with healing self. I don't think I'm going to do that. Am I playing against Druid? Incubation, probably.
opponent, what are you doing? What's up, Sung Jin? Hope you're having a good one. Is your is your uh, new escape shift list sick? I forget who tweeted it. Was it Eric? I think I saw something about Scape Drift involving you. Oh, Cyrus. That's that's who. Opponent! What the heck? Second draft has gotten a few trophies. Interesting. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the follow, Airborne Moxon. Cyrus Scapeshift. Uh, yeah, Cyrus... Cyrus actually, I think, likes the idea of Primeval Titan and Scapeshift. But, I don't know. Opponent... Okay. What is going on? Since my opponent's taking so long, I'm using the restroom real quick. Alright, so my opponent cast Incubation like I predicted. B boss, thank you for the follow. I really dislike this card in that deck, but uh you could if you wanted. I'm going to Seattle on Thursday, so I'm not sure I'll get to it this week, but potentially next week and uh shout out to everyone who's hung out tonight it's been great um no i'm not going to dallas i think well i might change my mind but probably not when is it looking for a fast kill because i think if they have turn two devoted druid it's a uh, actually not fill battle If they don't have turn two devoted druid, I think it's fine. Alright, I'm not going there. Alright, they have Vizier instead. Songjin, thanks for the sub. Really appreciate it. Interesting. Um I think I need to dig for Alter to win this game. Well, you should play your good cards is the answer I've come to myself. Summoner's Pact? Uh, because pacting for a druid is not that good. The version with Hall of the Bant Lord actually did play Summoner's Pact, so if that answers your question. Uh, you really want to play green if possible and sealed. If you can't do that, you should build the most aggressive version of your deck possible, I think. 
square bridge. I think that's correct. Mora Druid does not actually work. You're not allowed to untap your Druid with Mora out. All right, so they got my bridge, but that's okay. Adam did. Uh, Adam did. All right. Not going to get to it tonight. I'll let uh, you all know when I stream that one. Don't know when exactly it will be, but I'll make it happen. Yeah, this is not going great. I think I'm just gonna attack, see what they do. Like I actually have them on a pretty fast clock. No rush on the deck. Okay. Uh you know Summoner's Pack does not make it cost zero, right, Beagle? I take Mana War as well, Zach. Two, three, four. Do I just have lethal? One, two, three, four, five. No, but they have to lose all of their stuff. That doesn't change anything because Blood Gas is identical to playing Dark Blast. So I'll just cast this in attack. They might have cord, I guess, which, so they have to block three of these and they take five, go to three. Oh, I guess they don't actually have to block three of them, but uh, that would turn off canopy as a card. All right, your turn. Don't think you can win anymore. You're probably too young to remember this, but Mana War is a common in a very old format. It was really good then too. Mana War has basically always been insane when it was in a limited format. Uh, let's see what the guide says about Druid. Not an easy matchup. Side out a feeder and a blood ghast for two lightning axe. That makes sense to me. If they have rip, obviously like Wismare gains a little bit of value, but I could also just believe going like this is probably better. Mr. Raven I think was better in its format than Mana War is in this format. Trumpeting herd. That one's close though. Herd is just, okay, I don't know if people remember this, but Call of the Herd used to be a rare, and it cost 7 to make 2 three, three elephants, whereas Trumpeting Herd just costs 4 to make 2 three, three elephants. It's just, like, such a ludicrous rate. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. A mulligan. This hand doesn't actually do anything. I play a 1 1 and a 2 1 and hope it's good enough, which is not going to be most of the time. Uh, this other hand is really good. I want to land. No, I think. Air power supplier. Nah. It's going to have been that. 
I'm gonna play Ace of Fire in one. Obviously, if I get ripped or something, it's gonna suck a lot. You want to see me to get ripped? Good joke. There's a bridge from below. All right, dead. All right, guess I have to side in uh, Wismer versus opponent, but guess we'll see if two one beatdown works. Probably won't. I guess the other thing I could hypothetically do is get to seven permanents to cast it. They're stuck on two. Could offer the trade with Giver of Runes. Then that opens up lightning axes and out, so I guess I'm supposed to. Yes, Petrid Goblin is pretty good too. Might be dead, but that's okay. We still have a game three to play. Do you think I can mill all of their viziers in response? Guess I'm supposed to try. Maybe I can hit their ballista. All right, looks like I'm dead instead. Just gonna confirm that they actually have a kill con in their hand. I think Lancer's Sliver is quite good too. I don't think Swivers is the best archetype. I don't I really don't like white. I think white kinda sucks. Alright. Yo, Squad Sheet, thank you for the 181 viewer post. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good still. I mean, we died this game because of Rip, but 
now actually now that we've confirmed that I can side in like a few pieces I think Vengevine is below average, but it's good at killing them, so... It's not really that safe to assume it, I think, actually, but... Um... This am I allowed to cut? Maybe one altar, because the second one sucks and it doesn't really die. Get another Vengevine. Uh, this is the stock list from the Modern Challenge. This hand sucks. Um, I'm just gonna pretend they don't have rip because this hand's really good if they don't have it. Kept on six though. It's kind of problematic. Aria of Flame and Phoenix. Yeah, Jerry had that list. I don't know, it's probably uh, fine at least. Alright, it's a better sign. So they appear to be Abzan. I can probably get a pretty fast clock going even if they do rip me. Nice. All right, guess we're just going on the beatdown plan. Uh, I should have actually played the carrying feeder, but now if they rip me, like who who cares? If they actually cast rip, they're dead, which is kind of insane. What's up, Mark? Second bench vine was insane, yeah. I tell me to cast her own rip. I know, right? Alright, so they have to block. No, I don't need you to ban any of them, Mark. But thanks for offering. Uh, what do I want to do? I would just put them for two and I play two more creatures. I don't see how they ever win if I do that. Should have. If I played the feeder last turn, I think they actually would have died. Because I would have one, two, six, seven. Yeah. If I just played the feeder last turn, they would have been dead this turn. So that was pretty bad. I hope it doesn't cost me. Thanks, Mark. It's my second 12-3 in two weeks, so I'm a little bit sad, but... Did not... Could have drafted slightly better and maybe gotten one more win, which would have been clutch. Or just avoided another loss. I know.
whatever that emoji is, it, it, it summarizes how I'm feeling. Particle 33 I am. To be fair, I do not expect to open as good of a seal deck this time as I did last, this past weekend. I think the seal deck I opened was pretty abnormal. Yeah, Alan, I was thinking about that. It was sort of weird. It was literally a negative binomial. If I'd hit three wins before I hit two losses, I would have been fine. I had two buys, Karate Dom. Actually, it might be the sum of two negative binomials, actually, and not just a negative binomial. But in any case, like, whatever. Math, we actually do that here. Where am where my opponent went? I mean, like, they're probably thinking that this is pretty stupid and they might have just left, which is not an unreasonable standpoint to take because this is pretty stupid. Although this is just a bridge vine start, frankly, but whatever. It's fine. I don't think they have any outs. <laughs> Great, oh, that's funny. Uh, my first round of draft, I lost to Ben White's deck. I had two Raw Odo packs and a Plague Engineer, and my deck was basically double Bow Screech. All right, so I went 4 1 twice. Should I open some chests? Let's see, how many of you will One, two, three, four. Oh, I could have played around Bonte's Last Reckoning. But from a devoted druid deck, I'm not going to play around that. I have decided one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'll open seven chests. Chest number one Quicksilver Gargantua and 20 play points. Well, I'm not going to open all again. That, that was a one time deal. That only happened once. One. Two. Hydroblast and Spellweaver Volute. Whoa, this art is kind of cool. I don't even know what that's from, but it's cool. Polymorph, thank you for the follow. Sweet name, by the way. Yeah, I don't know what that Hydro Blast is from. It, look, it looks cool, though. It's two. Three. Ooh, God Eternal Ronus and a Leonin a bonus. Yeah. Uh, fair enough, Reanimator Fiend. I was wondering if you were just a little bit sad that I had, like, turn two make nine power, but... Eternal and a bonus. And I think it would be understandably so because I think that deck is kind of stupid. But whatever. Ooh, an ensnaring bridge! Is this worth something still? Someone let me know. An enchanted edition, Lenor Waste. Whoa, it is. Jeez. I'm going going big. Or I'm going home, I don't know. Let's 
Chest number five. Shivan Dragon and Summoner's Pact. Wonder if Summoner's Pact is worth anything. Enough. That's a reasonable enough. Right, chest number six. Ionize, not worth anything really, but that's okay. Yes, I remember. I wish I hadn't done that because chests have rebounded because of the economy readjusting, or whatever. And chest number seven. Wolf of Devil's Breach and Verdant Embrace. I remember both of those from Limited. Devil's Breach. Verdant Embrace. Wait, where's the wolf? Right, there it is. Alright, um... Yeah, I mean, selling your chest also makes sense. But I'm gonna see who else is streaming and pay it forward. Because I appreciate all y'all. Whoa, Edgar is streaming? I'm, go I'm gonna ship y'all to Edgar. Maybe Edgar is playing a sweet deck. Probably playing uh, comp Devoted, rather. Not, not Comping, but Devoted. I'm not. I'll be at GP Seattle. Anyway, uh, see y'all.